How's it going, everybody? This is the Brick Wall from Flamethrower Republic, coming to you with a Rainbow Six video today. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the new defensive operator from the Black Ice DLC, Frost. Now, Frost's special gadget, as you can see in the background video here, is this bear trap looking thing that's called a welcome mat. And it does pretty much what you would expect it to do, which is if someone steps on it, they, they hurt real bad. They, uh, in this particular case, in PvP, they will go into the down but not out mode, where they need to be revived by a teammate. And in Terrorist Hunt, the terrorists will just straight up die. And so, I mean, they're not... I remember when, when we were speculating about what this would be like before the operators actually came out. Everyone thought it was going to be just god-tier overpowered. And I don't think it is, for some reasons I'll get into a little later. But I think we should go into what I like about Frost first. So the first thing is her SMG. That SMG is fantastic. It's got a low rate of fire, really good damage, and what it allows you to do is A, keep very good, you know, very good target acquisition as you're shooting, but also it allows you to it allows you to maintain mag capacity really well. You'll watch in some of these clips, I'm able to take out three, four guys without needing to reload because it fires slowly. But it, it does enough damage to put them down in like three shots in the body, give or take. And you know, I mean, her bear trap is both a pro and a con. You'll see here in this upcoming clip, this is a custom match. And we're testing this out against Fuse, who's a max armor character. And so, you know, put down the bear trap and let Fuse walk over to it. You'll see it kills him. That's a little deceiving, because I didn't think about this at the time, but he was the only character on their team, so when he went into down but not out, which is what it actually does, it ended the round saying that I had won, because he was the only character on their team. And so, I mean, you know, the bear trap, though, it really slows down an offensive advance if, you, uh, if someone gets caught in that trap, because then their teammates have to come over and revive them and it kind of opens up their whole team to be shot at while they're trying to quickly figure out where your other two bear traps are and try and revive their down teammate. But there's one glaring thing that I find wrong with Frost's loadout that keeps her from being, like, you know, better, significantly better, and that's that her kit has no barbed wire. If she had had barbed wire, you could have put the barbed wire over the trap, which would have kind of disguised its appearance, similar to what you're seeing right now. Well, that's a lot easier, it's a lot harder to see. But, I mean, she doesn't have barbed wire, so you pretty much have to have your team with barbed wire helping you out in order for Frost to be at her full effectiveness. And, you know, the other thing I said earlier about how this was meant to be, this was going to be like god tier. Well, it's because everyone was thinking that this trap wouldn't be shootable. Because it was supposed to be like, you know, a bear trap. If you shoot a metal bear trap, it's not going to do anything, right? Well, as it would turn out, her trap is absolutely shootable. You can destroy it by shooting it. Which I find takes down the effectiveness quite a bit, because if you're looking where you're stepping, it's really very obvious that this is on the floor. I mean... Where she ends up shining is that it's harder to find in the heat of battle if you're, say, watching a door and you're kind of strafing from side to side, you may not see it. Like you'll see in a clip later in the video. But, I mean, if you know what to look for and you're careful about it, she really doesn't change the way the game's played like everyone thought she was going to. And, I mean, she doesn't contribute that much to the team. I mean, someone like a Rook or a Doc who kind of helps the whole team, gives them more armor, can pick them up. They're really good team team kind of people. She fits more into the category of like a captain or a mute or a smoke, where they're like, they're, they're kind of situational. It really depends on what the other team does. And she just, overall, she's a good, she's a good shooter. You know, she's got a good, good, good gun for shooting but just doesn't really contribute that much. She saw that Nitro Cell there. She's actually kind of an offensive defender kind of person, similar to what I even think Jaeger is like, where you're better off just roaming with Frost. So, 
you know, you can you can see here, it's you can see in these clips, it's it's pretty easy to control the recoil from that SMG that she's using, but it's just not. It's she just she doesn't offer enough to be a good defensive team player. So I think with that, I'm gonna leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I've been the Brick Wall from Flamethrower Republic. See you guys next time. Peace. Op four eliminated. Mission successful. Last operator stay. Op four eliminated all friendly.